Hi, and welcome to another great episode of The Richard Hansen Show. Today you're going to want to pay close attention as we discuss debt. Richard will give us 21 ways that we can save money and apply it to any possible debt that we may have. You may want to grab a pen and paper to jot these notes down. Once again, thank you for listening. Here's your host, Richard Hansen. What's up, guys? Super excited to be able to come to you live from the studio to wherever you are in this great wide world. We're going to jump right in talking about debt. Most people have it. No one likes to talk about it, but it's an elephant that needs to be addressed. The U.S. is now trillions of dollars in debt. The average person is buried under an insurmountable amount of debt, and it's a crisis of epidemic proportion. But just like any crisis, God has given us solutions to get ourselves through it. It's like in Japan, the Japanese word for crisis literally has a twofold meaning. One is devastation, loss, calamity, everything that we would consider debt is. But the other one is opportunity. So no matter where you are in your personal debt, business debt, Whatever kind of debt you may have, I want to show you tonight, if you will just shift your perspective from seeing it as something horrible to seeing it as something, as an opportunity, then I believe we can begin to make our way out of this mountain of debt that you may find yourself in. So we're going to get creative. I'm going to go through about 21 creative ways for getting out of debt. Now, this is by no means an exhaustive list, but just for the sake of time tonight, I think if you could just take a few of these principles and begin to apply them, even today in your life, you can begin to see the results that they will bring. So you'll want to be sure if you're not driving to grab a pen or grab your laptop and and start writing these things down and go back and revisit it at a later time. But the first one is You need to have a written plan. It's an absolute necessity for anyone in debt to have a written out budget. If it's not written down, it doesn't exist plain and simple. It's important for you and I to place expenditures in their order of importance, such as needs, wants, and even desires. The second thing you're going to want to do is sell stuff you no longer use. We all have stuff we're no longer using. And if you have things in your closets or things in your garage or things that you haven't used in over a year, then I recommend getting rid of it and getting some cash out of it. So find stuff laying around the house that you no longer use anymore. Put it on eBay, Craigslist, Facebook, or have a good old-fashioned yard sale because it's a great source of immediate cash. The third thing you're going to want to do is pray, pray, pray. Start and end each day asking God to help you in getting out of the debt that you find yourself in. The fourth thing you're going to want to do is start a side hustle. Everyone has a gift, a talent, a skill that they can monetize, whether it's driving for Uber, direct marketing, babysitting, detailing vehicles, delivering pizza, mowing yards, cleaning houses, or anything else you can imagine, the side hustle just might prove to be the ticket to helping you knock down that debt. The fifth thing I want to talk to you about is saying goodbye to coffee shops and hello to the home brew. Chances are, for a lot of us, our monthly expenditures could be going to the local barista. So opting to brew your own cup of java will allow you to take the money that you're given to the coffee shop and begin to put it into paying off that debt. The sixth thing I want to talk to you about is stop eating out and start eating in. I totally get it. Going out to eat or going through that local drive through is so much easier than cooking at home. But let's face it, much of what we get anyways isn't all that healthy, just like much of our spending. So choosing to opt out of going out doesn't have to be a drag. Get creative. 
Spend quality time with family and friends by having them bring something over and join you for a nice home-cooked meal. The seventh thing I want to talk to you about is ask nicely for a raise. Yep, you heard me correctly. We have not because we ask not. Doesn't hurt to ask because we miss 100% of the shots we don't take. The eighth thing that I want to talk to you about is give 10% of your income away. You heard me correctly. It may seem a little bit contradictory, but practicing generosity not only lifts our spirits, but it forces us to make budgeting a priority. The ninth thing I want to talk to you about is to cut, shred, or burn your credit cards. I don't care how you do it. Just do it. It's almost impossible to get out of debt until you eliminate all possibilities of going into more debt. Remember, cash is king. The tenth thing I want to talk to you about is replacing entertainment with education. Let's face it. The reason why the rich keep getting richer and the poor keep getting poorer is because one works for money while the other makes money work for them. Think about it. So my advice is to visit your local library, check out some books, read some blogs online about personal financing and money, start getting educated how the rich think. If you'll do that, the dividends will pay off huge. The 11th thing I wanna talk to you about is shop smart. Couponing, thrift store shopping, garage sales, online stores are amazing ways to save money. Get creative with where you shop. Stop keeping up with the Joneses. Most likely they're in debt too. The 12th thing I want to talk to you about is get good at saying no. Let me repeat that again. Get good at saying no. You might want to rehearse that right now wherever you're at in this great and wonderful world. No. Put off temporary pleasures for long-term gains. You didn't get it to debt overnight, and you won't get out of debt overnight. So learn the art of saying no to frivolous spending. The 13th thing I want to talk to you about is plan out your grocery list ahead of time. Let's face it, we've all walked into the grocery store without any forethought into what we really want or need. And this could be a recipe for disaster, especially when you're hungry or you have your kids with you wanting everything their little eyes can see. Remember, you're getting out of debt. And that might mean passing on the caviar for something a little more affordable, but still healthy. The 14th thing I want to talk to you about is stop getting financial advice from broke people. I think it's pretty much self-explanatory. How can the blind lead the blind? Find somebody with the financial freedom you desire and get the advice you need. It's the fast track to success. The 15th thing I want to talk to you about is cut off the television. With technology now at the click of a button and most of the world having some form of cell phone use, you can now pretty much access what you need via any mobile device. So take the money you're currently paying your television provider and use it to pay off some of that debt. The 16th thing I want to talk to you about is say goodbye to the gym and hello to the great outdoors. Now you can revisit the gym at a later date, but for now, enjoy the outdoors. Fresh air, sun, and nature have amazing health benefits. Not to mention there are a ton of exercises out there using your body's own weight to get a great workout in. The 17th thing that I want to talk to you about is ask for lower interest rates on your credit cards and negotiate other bills. Always remember, the worst they can say is no. And coincidentally, I've personally have benefited from asking. 
Remember, we have not because we ask not. Our primary objective is paying off that debt, and we might have to go to great length in seeing that happen. The 18th thing that I want to talk to you about is start working smarter, not harder. Ask your employer ways you can improve your job performance. It's amazing what a little feedback can do to put you in a position for promotion. You see, when we see somebody crowned in any area of success, what may appear to be them rising out of obscurity and becoming this overnight sensation is almost always can be backtracked to years of sweat and hard work and determination. But that should not replace us desiring to get feedback and wanting to excel in ways that we have blind spots in, in our, in our job performance. And by just receiving a little bit of feedback from those that are around us and making small adjustments in how we perform can really pay off great dividends by getting us that raise or promotion that we so desperately need. The 19th thing that I want to talk to you about is consolidate your debts. Stop drowning in high interest rates. If you're currently overwhelmed and stressed out, paying overpriced interest rates, consolidation and refinancing might be worth taking a look at. The 20th thing that I want to talk to you about is sell your home. You heard me correctly. If your current house payment is keeping you up at night, then it might be time to sell and downsize. Listen, there's no shame in downsizing. In fact, being a minimalist is downright cool, cool with millennials. Remember, your objective is getting out of debt, not having the biggest house on your block. Plus, the money made from the sale of your home could be the ticket to paying off some of the debt brought on by the home. Now, the 21st thing that I want to talk to you about, and I'm going to close with this, and it may just be the one that keeps your sanity during this entire process because it's easy to want to lose our minds and continue to allow the snowball of debt to devastate not only our own mental sanity, but devastate our health and our families and our relationships and just overall every area of our life. But that is, you're going to want to write this down. If you don't catch anything else that I said, catch this. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy the process. Listen, if we can't learn to enjoy the ride out of debt, then we won't appreciate the final destination of being utterly and completely debt free. Listen, you are riding out of debt if you will begin to implement these 21 creative ways. Now you might not be riding out in the car of your dreams. You may not be riding out having the sound system that you desire. You may not be riding out having the tires and the rims that you so desperately would long to see. In fact, you might be riding out of debt in a jalape. And people might be looking at you. People might be poking fun at you. People might be wondering what is going on. But let me tell you something. There's going to come a day where you're going to look back and you're going to appreciate how far God has brought you out of that situation. And the reality is, when that day comes, you're going to be able to afford a car and pay for it cash. And who knows? You might be able to go back into that neighborhood or, or a better neighborhood and buy your next home with cash. Think about it. Cash is king. So stop beating yourself up over all your debt. Live life. Enjoy your kids. Have fun. 
Make beautiful memories. We got one shot at this thing called life, so we might as well enjoy it while we can. So listen, I hope these 21 creative ways for getting out of debt resonated with you the way they have resonated with me. I'd love to hear your feedback. I'd love to hear your testimony as you begin to take a few of these and begin to implement them in your life. Because who knows, somewhere down the road, we may come across the same path and we may shake hands and we may be able to talk about how God has brought us out of some hopeless situations. But for now, from my heart to yours, I believe that if you will apply these keys and begin to use them as tools, then you can begin to shovel your way out of the debt that you are currently in. Well, listen, I appreciate you taking the time to listen to this podcast. I appreciate hearing the testimonies every week that are coming in from around the world. It's amazing. In just a few short weeks, seeing this podcast literally go to the four corners of the earth. And that's all credited to God and you, the listener, for giving me the opportunity to come into your home, to come into your car, wherever you may be, and be able to speak to you. So thank you so much. So from my heart to yours, much love. We'd like to thank you for joining us for today's podcast. We hope you take advantage of these helpful tips and apply them to your everyday life. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And stay tuned for more great content to come.